Hi and welcome to the 81st Hammer Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do something that I have seen nothing like before. This is the mouse controlled turret if you've ever played Zombie Mod or Jailbreak Map that has a turret. It was probably controlled with WASD. Not very easy to control. Terribly hard to use. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do this one up in style. Where we have this turret, it is completely reliant on my mouse movement. They even got gunfire going to it, so this is like a full-fledged turret, guys. Now let's actually create it because this thing's just so BA, I'm just leaking with joy to create one. Alright guys, so now let's actually create what I just showed you. This is done with a couple simple entities. Um, first off, let me talk about the gun and the base itself. For the base, you're going to want to use a funk brush. If you don't want a base, you're going to still need to create a funk brush. This is needed for this origin here. It's essentially the mounting point for the gun itself or whatever object you're trying to have user controlled. So you need that just for the origin. Now, for the gun, I'm using a prop physics override but you are actually able to use whatever physics item you like, like a funk fizz box or something. A few small notes on this though. Name it, and under flags, you want to disable motion and have it not collide with a player. Otherwise some wiggy stuff happens when you try to just, you know, move it around because it's how the entity systems work. So, uh, some simple stuff here. So let me jump right into the deep end here. We're going to want to grab the NPC clip texture and we're going to use this for a button. We use the NPC clip because it doesn't collide with a player and it's also uh, usable in the world. So go ahead and create a funk button at the back of your item. I'm just going to name it gun button. We're going to end up using this for locking and unlocking so only one player can use that time. Parent that to the gun. Set the flags as don't move. So now we're going to go ahead and create our basic entities here. Um, a logic measure movement. Now I hope you can figure this right now. Name it something. I'm naming mine gun movement. Entity to measure gun base. Also you'll need to name your funk brush. I name my gun base. Um, measure reference gun base. Entity to move gun movement reference gun base. Movement scale 100. Measure type I position. Pause the video if you need to see that. I'm kind of rushing through. I'm hyped up for some reason. Alright, so we're going to move on to our next entity. This is a game UI. Pretty simple stuff. We went over this during Tutorial Fest. So we're going to make this a game I uh, name this Gun UI. And before I get into too many hard coding outputs and inputs here, I would like to show you guys how to make a the bullets that I did. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this entity and we're going to copy it right onto the front of the gun. This is going to be a game uh NV gunfire. Now, if you don't add uh, I'm going to name it NV gun bullets. If you don't have this entity, it's because you're missing the FGD. Go to options and then under game data files, click add and it's located in Half-Life 2.fgd. You'll add that, you'll get all the settings that you need. Um, name it something, parent it to the gun. Also create another entity right in front of it. Name it, an inf make it an info target. And this is gonna be named gun fire target. And go ahead and just drag this off way far off to the side it's still in your map though because it needs it to reference from where it's going from like because that is the target so on this start disabled yes target set it to our newly created info target that we got all the way out there um choose the rest of settings that you want if you don't get the sounds it's because they're screwed up and uh the tracer only works on default so Fun, fun with that. 
Now, if you don't have one already, you're going to need to create a new entity, and this one's going to be a logic auto. This is a workaround for a parenting glitch that occurs in Counter-Strike. Add on map spawn our info target that we got over there. Set parent gun. We just need to manually set the parent every round because info targets are weird in the way that they parent. So yay, work runs. Alright, now we're going to do some basic um, inputs and output systems here. On the button, click add. On pressed button, lock, add. On pressed, exclamation mark, activator. Activator, add output, target name, gun user, copy gun user, add, on pressed, gun movement, set measure target, gun user, delay this, 0 0.01, add, on pressed, gun, enable motion, Add on pressed game UI activate. Now on your logic auto, click add on map spawn gun user add output target name player. We want to strip the name. We want to strip anyone who is still named player at the beginning of the round of their title so they're not glitching this gun. Okay, now we're going to want to bounce over to our game UI. Click add. Press attack. Gun bullets. Enable. Copy paste. Unpress attack. Disable our bullets. Add. Player off. Activator. Add output target name player. Add on player off gun button unlock. Add on player off gun disable motion. And also on the game UI, we're going to Add player off gun measure set measure gun base. We're gonna set that at point at at zero. I'm gonna set that at zero. Then I'm gonna go ahead and compile this and I'll see you in Counter Strike. Alright, so here we are in game. I'm gonna climb up the ladder. Sex a sex a ladder. And we climb over to the sex a sex a turret over here. Get out of here, gnome. Push E on this. Oh, oh. Follows around. Awesome. So many bullets. Okay. So, you saw how we parented the Envy gunfire to the front of the turret. So, whatever you want to project from this, just parent it to the front of the model or fizz box that you have and parenting will do the rest if you're having problems with parenting you also saw how we parented the info target to the gun at the beginning of the round some entities in counter-strike team fortress 2 when round resets stuff doesn't quite parent right so you need to do it at the beginning of the round with the set parent command so with that said enjoy having mouse controlled turrets instead of WAS and E controlled stupid turrets. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and donate. I could really use the money right now. Um, and the enemy gunfire random note doesn't do damage, just an effect. Use a trigger hurt for damage. Thanks for watching. Bye.